Bitcoin is pumping everybody, BTC is up. Let's have a look at the one hour chart where we see the price action right now. Bitcoin is up almost 5% this morning. Some coins are up 15%, renders up 10%, Solana almost 8%, MicroStrategy 6%, Doge 5%. So there's a lot of movement on the market today. We're digesting the uh, economic data that came out yesterday and like usually we correct and then Bitcoin does not care and moves on. So here we have a quite a nice movement from 62,000 up to 64,500 almost in a matter of a couple of hours. You see that we got a mini golden cross here of the MA50 crossing the MA200. We had two huge one hour candles with volume and we seem to be wanting to go quite high today. It could be a change in momentum. We have been trading sideways for a long time and it has been boring. So as long as we stay above this level of 63,500 today, it's going to be extremely bullish if we continue on the uptrend for the end of today and tomorrow, let's see if that momentum continues. On the four hour chart, we see something extremely interesting is that wedge. So we had this downtrend line of the MA50, you see it here. And we see that we touch a level of 56,500 here as the low point, stopped around 60, almost 65, thousand dollars and then we follow this trend line here up to today but today something happened we moved above this wedge so this is extremely bullish this becomes now support the level here at 63,500 becomes quite important also we have an increase in volume all the signals are there to potentially indicate to us that this small downtrend is now done. On top of that, the ME50 is below the price and we just broke above the ME200. So this is an amazing entry point for Bitcoin, not financial advice, around $64,000. Very bullish TA structure. We need to hold this level, but this could be a change in the momentum of Bitcoin. Quite a lot of altcoins are moving. Most of them are up above 5%, some 7%, and others around 10 and 15% already. So we could see some important price actions in the upcoming hours. And like I indicated here on the daily, we see that we had been trading sideways and a little bit down recently but that wedge structure has been broken to the upside. We have the resistance here of the MA50, which is at $65,000. So if we break above $65,000, in my opinion, the momentum comes back to Bitcoin upwards and the next target is 72,000. And after that, $76,000 to continue the momentum. The MA200 is going up to the right. That means that the long-term momentum is pushing the price up for Bitcoin. So keep an eye on Bitcoin. It's scare. It's the most scare asset in the world. Every time somebody buys this asset and holds it for a long period of time, the supply of the asset goes down every time somebody loses coin the scarcity of bitcoin increases and therefore it holds its value it's the only asset that we know of right now that cannot be tampered with cannot be modified you cannot print more of them so as soon as you have coins and you want to keep them for the next five years ten years you are removing satoshis from the system and automatically it becomes a scare asset bunch of transactions that are happening every single second throughout the world and 
we have a scarcity crunch that is coming for the asset. Once people see this coin above $100,000, you will see that craziness will be in the news, in the market. Everybody will like and want to have a little bit of Bitcoin. So at this stage, in my opinion, it's one of the best times to get your hold on Satoshis for the long term. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bitcoin is a special asset. Continue watching the channel because it's going to be crazy in this summer of 2024. See you all in the next one.